This is the lecture video for the Intensive Agricultural Practices content page. Please read this page carefully. If you come across any words that you don't know, make sure you look them up. Remember to read carefully, then watch this video and take notes, and then answer the questions. There is a note sheet. If you look here, there's a note sheet that you can use to take notes on. Looks like this. <clears throat> so make sure you fill this in. If you have any more notes you want to add, because I'm going to talk about a little bit more than what's on here, please take out a new sheet of paper and add those notes. So let's talk about it. What is agriculture? Well, agriculture is how we feed the human population. Definition is the practice of cultivating food or cultivating soil, I'm sorry, in order to grow plants and raise livestock. This has allowed humans to have food security. I mean, we can rely on having food every day and develop villages, towns, and eventually cities. Now you have to understand, before agriculture, we were more like this. All people lived in little tribes, and they were what we call nomadic. That means that they walk the earth. They never stay and establish a town. That's because there was if they stayed there for too long, they'd eat all the food, and they'd be gone. So they'd walk around collecting different seeds, plants, maybe catch an animal or two if they're lucky. And then once they ate everything, they would move on and go to the next spot called nomadic. Now, after agriculture, people could settle. So this turned into this. Very important for uh, humans because once you could stay in one place, it allowed you to build houses, build buildings, start to maybe write, make music. You had a lot more time because so you're not walking around all day looking for food. You can grow it. It eventually led to stuff like this, which is why we are the way we are right now. It's why you live in a town. You don't walk around and find food all day, all over the whole earth. So there's two types, really. There's industrial and sustainable. Now, first, what I want to say is all agriculture in the beginning was pretty sustainable. Native Americans who lived on this land, when Europeans came here, or anybody not from America originally, it wasn't just really, it was wild, but it wasn't untamed. The Native American Indians, they had an extremely sustainable form of farming. They were managing the land in a way that allowed it to be totally natural and regenerative while they still could do agriculture and have their food and all of that. Now, when populations start to boom and there's not really enough food to go around, industrial agriculture kind of came to be. As technology progressed, chemicals and different solutions became uh, were created, industrial agriculture came to be. Actually, we have something called the Green Revolution that happened because there wasn't enough food to feed, feed the growing populations in some places in the world. And when they made pesticides and herbicides and fertilizers, it made growing food really easy. So we had abundant food that could feed all of the people of the world. However, there's drawbacks. Industrial agriculture is production of crops and animals focusing on high yield. You usually see big machines. They use monoculture, synthetic fertilizers, synthetic pesticides, large machines, and CAFOs. Now, sustainable agriculture is the production of crops and animals focusing on biodiversity and protecting the environment. Characteristics are polyculture, compost, IPM, which is integrated pest management, free range, and crop rotation. When you write these down in your paper, make sure you write what they are, not just the names. I'll tell you a little bit about that now. These are pictures at the back of the paper, the note sheet, where you're going to have to figure out if it's industrial or sustainable. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of these things in this other slideshow here. First, let's talk about the soil. You know soil is dirt without the nutrients. And you also know that soil is natural, right? It happens from decomposition. There are bugs and bacteria and animals and fungus that live outside, live in the ground, and they naturally break down any kind of dead or decaying matter. They decay the matter and turn it into soil. So it can pretty much be recycled and reused. <clears throat> now, if you're a sustainable farmer, you might realize that it takes a long, long time for soil to be generated naturally. So one thing sustainable farmers do is they make compost. You've probably heard of it before. But essentially what you do is you put any organic matter, any food scraps, anything made from a once living thing into a bin. And if you do it at the right ratio, there's a certain brown to green ratio, you can mix it and actually end up with beautiful brown, dark brown soil. 
Now, if you are industrial, let's talk about some of those things. Monoculture is when you grow only one crop over a large area. Polyculture, you grow many, many crops in an area. And usually, sustainable agriculture, they do crop rotation, which means every year they move where they put these crops. The reason being is when you do monoculture, let's say there is a specific type of bug that likes to eat corn. Well, if that bug finds your field, it is going to have the best season of its life. It's going to eat your corn, reproduce, and all of those bugs are going to feast on your crop. That makes monoculture not a really good idea because if a pest that likes your crop ends up there, it'll wipe out all of your crop. Now with polyculture, what happens is, usually, if you didn't know this, all plants have like symbiotic relationships with bacteria and fungus. And some of those bacteria and fungus and even some of the chemicals the plants produce themselves actually ward off pests or you could even kill them. So if you have polyculture, chances are some of the plants are protecting other plants from the pest that wants to eat the plant. But also, if a pest that likes corn ends up in this farm, it's going to take it a lot longer to find that corn than it would here. And if you lost, let's say there was a row of corn here, even if that pest happened to eat all the corn, you still have all these other stuff. So with monoculture, what happens in industrial agriculture is it's so sensitive, right? It's easily destroyed by pests. They use lots of chemicals. Also, when you grow one crop on land, you tend to take all the same nutrients out of that land all the time, so you have to fertilize it. And since composting, if you're industrial, takes work and time, they'd rather just spray chemicals on the land and fertilize it that way. So really, we have a big difference between industrial agriculture and, ag and sustainable agriculture. Industrial uses lots of chemicals. Sustainable uses lots of natural remedies which we will talk about a little bit later. All right, I'll talk about all this in the project, okay? The last thing I wanna mention on this note sheet, these pictures are in the agriculture slideshow if you don't like the color that you see because it's black and white. What you have to do is look at the picture and you try to determine from what you learned if the image represents industrial agriculture or sustainable agriculture. And if you think it's industrial or sustainable, tell me why right next to it. I'll give you a hint. This one's industrial. Why? Big machine, monoculture, spraying it with pesticides or fertilizer. All right. 